Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's TPM5 here, back again with another NBA video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Larry Markkinen, and also like his free agency, talk about some rumors surrounding him, and just, you know, inform you guys about this situation. Uh, I had a few questions before I started researching for this video, so I guess I've got my answers and I want to help you guys out too. So without further ado, let's get started. Now as you guys know, Larry Markin was picked in the 2017 draft, taken with the 7th pick before being part of that Jimmy Butler trade to Minnesota. Uh, his average 16 points and 7 rebounds throughout his career, along with 44% from the field and almost 37% from 3. Now it is good to see his 3 point game mostly has translated to the NBA, which is good because offensively he's a very skilled player, he has a lot to offer on that side of the floor. So before I get started, just a quick break guys, I make NBA content 2-3 to three times a week, however throughout the off season it's almost, you know, uploads have been coming out at almost a daily rate. Now if you'd uh, like to subscribe, I'd heavily appreciate it, and also to my returning subscribers, you know, thank you guys for coming back and thank you for supporting me, and yeah, let's keep going. So, many uh, teams have been linked with Larry Markkinen, I'm going to start with the New Orleans Pelicans and kind of talk through that situation. So as you guys know, the Bulls uh, got Lonzo Ball as part of a sign and trade. However, there has been, you know, the tampering issue, which is making this whole uh, sign and trade negotiation for Larry Markin and rather complicated. Now, if this investigation finds them guilty of some sort of thing, which I think it's rather, I think to be honest, a lot of NBA teams tamper, and it's just a matter of you caught or not. But nevertheless, if they end up losing another first round draft pick. Uh, you know, they're going to be, the New Orleans Pelicans that is, they're going to be without a lot of um, picks in the future. So it becomes important that they find a way to do this trade, you know, without giving away too much draft capital. Now, I've seen rumors where they give up two seconds in exchange for him. And that also bodes well with them because they're not giving away a first. They also have a trade exception worth 17 million. So they have a bit of, um, you know, the Chicago Bulls can sign him to a contract. And then, you know, they can send something little back in those two second rounds, as I said. And that kind of allows them to absorb the contract. Now, I think the Bulls, you know, if they were morally, you know, if, if they had some sort of morals, they'd realize that Lonzo was given to them on a very, very cheap, uh, you know, trade. And they might be able to just do a light uh, deal as, you know, part of that previous sign trade. Now, it's been reported by Mark Stein that the Pelicans have expressed interest in Larry Markin, and we kind of know that anyway, and they do hold the sizable uh, trade exception, and the Bulls want a first round pick to facilitate a trade, but it might get to the point where the Bulls just settle for the trade package up there that I've said, which would be a second or two plus a smaller contract. Now, it's believed that Larry Markin's management is starting negotiations at around 9.5 million uh, a year is this base point. I think that that's fair, and I think that, you know, he could realistically sign a one-year deal and try and rehab his value, because over his um, four seasons in the league, I believe, you know, his value uh, in terms of, you know, worth isn't probably as high as it would have been in his probably, you know, second or third year, so I think he always has that chance to sign a one-year deal, uh, get a chance with a team like New Orleans, and then, you know, rehab his value, but let's move on to another trade option, uh, you know, another option for him to join. Another team linked with Larry Markkinen is the Dallas Mavericks. Now, obviously, they have that kind of European connection. I'm not trying to generalize it, but they have that European connection. Or, uh, obviously, Luka Doncic, uh, Porzingis, uh, Marjanovic, and then they would be adding uh, Mar Larry Markkinen to Kleber as well. So, obviously, he, you know, I can see the incentive for him to join, and I think that the Mavericks would be, you know, wise to look to add another guy in the event that they get a trade offer for Kristaps or something happens there. So that way you can get someone who probably fills that role, I'd say to a fairly equal level, and then, you know, be able to trade Kristaps for something else. They were previously heavily linked, and now it's done to taper off a bit. Now, another team is the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, it'd be ironic if he went back there after being traded, you know, having his draft rights traded, but, you know, they've been trying to find a front court partner for Carl Anthony Towns for a while now. He can shoot the ball, so he's kind of that modern, uh, you know, duo in the, you know, the front court. And then also, you know, you can get him for probably a package of Torian Prince and the 2023 first rounder. You know, this puts some protections on that because the Timberwolves are not really too sure what's going to happen with them. But I think that he would be a great player to add. He's obviously skilled in the offensive side for a seven footer, and he's averaged, uh, you know, a lot of points, you know, 16 per game for his whole career, and that's with 
varying uh, levels of consistent consistency on his roles. Now the reason I keep mentioning his sign and trade is because the Bulls did extend a qualifying offer and that would literally just be so they can sign and trade him, they have the rights to do that. Now the Hornets have been interested in him as well and that will be interesting too. Uh, now that's the end of the video guys, please don't forget to comment, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, you know, please don't forget to subscribe as well, I'm trying to grow, you know, I'm on that grind. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video, peace out.